All right, today is December 27, 2015. Happy holidays, everybody. Um, I hope you and your family had a great holiday. We're gonna go over this last seven lesson Sunday of 2015. Um, I'm gonna talk about this entrepreneur article in a minute, but first I gotta remind you guys that we have these holiday sales. They're 40, 50, 60, 70% off different newsletters. Uh, and DVDs and this is going to be gone in a few days. I'm getting so many questions and emails about them uh, I know a lot of you guys are procrastinating. You're like, oh, I'll do it in a little bit The year is almost over the sale is almost over so don't let it pass you by and especially now in the holidays You know get these DVDs and watch them when you have time off uh, You know my how to make millions DVD is probably the best deal here 297 all goes to charity 35 hours of content, pretty much everything I know. Tim Grittani's DVD has become the single best uh, DVD and the best seller. Uh, you save 45% for a limited time. And we have so many other great DVDs. Penny Stocking and Penny Stocking Part 2 are required watching if you're just beginning. Tim Line goes over you know different times of the day. The Penny Stocking Framework is a seven-step framework, and these patterns still work. So get these you know take advantage the reason why we have these holiday sales is because we want to reward you for your studying for your learning uh, and on the newsletter side you know we have so many people super trades had another fantastic year I think he's up like 1.3 million in 2015 in a flat market Triforce trader the newest uh, millionaire just passed a million dollars and Connor uh, is just you know he's a teenager and he's up nearly four hundred thousand dollars so we have so many great people and my two newsletters will be going up in price for new subscribers only in 2016. Uh, I'm trying to weed out those of you who just want hot picks and it's more about education. So these are the last time you will ever see these sale prices on these newsletters and Small Cat Millionaire is my uh, longer term newsletter and we just had a nice nearly 100% winner uh, last week which is awesome. But let me get to some lessons. So take advantage of these sales while they last they won't last very long. This is an entrepreneur article um, I did uh, a few days ago. It's not my title, so I'm not even going to repeat it, but it's just some basic lessons uh, to get you in the right process. Again, you know, even though several of my students have made millions of dollars uh, within a few years, the vast majority of people are not going to do that. The good news is you can learn the right processes and you can then have better odds of making millions over five, 10, and, and definitely you know, 15 years. I'm not talking about Warren Buffett, like 30, 40, 50 years with long-term investing. Um, these are the, the strategies that my millionaire students and I use. Um, it is a little work, but it's not hard work. You know, we're not working manual labor. Um, this is just using your mind. And I think more importantly than the money that you make uh, when you're a millionaire, you know, I talk about becoming a millionaire so much, it's all about your development and, and your character and, and you learn to push yourself and challenge yourself. Um, it, it's an incredible journey along the way of becoming a millionaire. I know many of you just want the money um, and you're like, yeah, yeah, Tim, just show me how to make money. I don't care about any other stuff. You grow as a person, um, especially from your losses and your mistakes. But I know the millionaire word is, is very powerful and that's what many of you guys are aiming for. So that's why I use it so often. Um, but you have to do these things. Wake up early and quit taking the weekend off. You know, my millionaire students and I, we're not that smart. <laughs> we're not like math geniuses. Um, you know, I can't even spell algorithm, really. I, I, I was like fifth grade spelling bee champion and I can't even try and think about it. I, I have an idea, but it's not about intelligence. It's about putting in extra time when others aren't willing to. And preparation is key. So wake up early, quit taking the weekend off, Number three and four, learn about the stock market and you know think long term when you're young. I know a lot of people are just teenagers and they're like, oh, their parents want them to you know become doctors or lawyers. You can always learn right now. A lot of people are in work and school. How am I going to learn, Tim? Well, use the nighttime. <laughs> My God, uh, I don't think you guys realize how much time you waste watching TV, going to movies, going out with friends, uh, going out on dates, drinking, partying. Uh, working out, you know, you can cut all of that, not necessarily all of it out, but cut down on all of that and start thinking with the right mindset and, and studying. Put in an hour a day of studying video lessons um, and do it when you're young because then you have the lessons all your life. Number five, six, and seven, I, I can't stress this stuff enough, educate yourself online and use social media. Um, it's 
absurd how many people are not using social media. Um, every single trader should be on Instagram and Twitter uh, at the very least. And I'll get into that in a little bit. But these are just some basic lessons. Um, let me see. Here is, uh, I guess, lesson number one. I hope you use this holiday time off from work, school, not just to relax, drink, eat, but study as knowledge will change his lives the most. <laughs> Look at this. I, it's not even proper grammar. I, I wrote this like in the, uh, at night and <laughs> it doesn't even matter. Uh, you know what I mean, okay? Use the holiday to really prepare. And this is lessons number, number one. Um, preparation is what most people fail to do. Uh, and it's the key to my top students and my success. Number two, I, many of you guys don't really understand this or appreciate it, but I think it's important. And it's never be afraid of haters, doubters, critics, traders going against you. If you have a quality product, quality thesis on a stock, let the whole world be against you. Eventually you'll be proven right. But you had better be damn sure that you are right. Uh, you know, if the whole world is going against you on a stock trade, you're probably wrong. Um, but there are times where, you know, if you do enough research and, and if you stick to patterns, uh, you're, you're probably going to be proven right eventually. And, you know, this applies to me uh, quite a bit because you can see here, um, here is trading CJ. Uh, he's watching video 10 on his How to Make Millions DVD. And this is Michael Good, uh, Seven Figure Success. This is probably the best example for me just because Michael Good wrote a blog post once upon a time that said Timothy Sykes is full of BS. And we went back and forth in the comment section. Um, and, you know, he gave me a chance. We, we sent him some DVDs and he started learning. And now he's up, you know, one and a half million. He's my chat moderator. He helps mentor my, my trading challenge students with me. Tim Bertani is as much of a success of his teaching as it is mine. Um, and he hated me at first. So I don't mind the hate. Um, I think it's kind of funny because I, I show all my trades and, and have so many free videos and now I have more and more students who are making millions and now they also teach with me. Um, but I don't mind the hate and, and you should never mind the hate, not if you have like a product or a business or something, but more likely applicable to you if you're in a stock trade and you know there's people betting against it. But let's say you've done your research and let's say that you know you've you really strategized and, and focused you're probably going to be right. I'll give you an example on um, TXMD. So TXMD, you know, had this huge spike on, on positive news and it was kind of consolidating in here in the nines. And I was dip buying it, I don't know, half a dozen times. But you can see it's a clear breakout above the former highs of 876 and it's a clear breakout over this high of nine-ish. And a lot of people were shorting this, thinking that, oh, it's going to top at nine. This is you know, a multi-billion dollar company. And I'll tell you the truth, I didn't have the patience to hold it to, to the 10, 60, 11 range. Um, I got out way too early, but I was on the right side of the trade and a lot of short sellers who were trying to, uh, you know, push it down and say that it was topping, they were wrong. And the lesson here is, you know, when you have a multi-year breakout uh, with good news and it's not like a pump and dump, you know, the odds are is that it's going to break out and it's going to continue to break out. I underestimated it. I did not time this well, but my approach was right. And when I was buying, there was a whole chorus of short sellers on Twitter saying, you know, this was the top and Sykes is an idiot for buying. Um, and I probably shouldn't have listened to them or been influenced by them and just held, you know, I probably should have bought this in my longer term uh, account. But, you know, I'm not a perfect trader. The point is, is that my approach was right. And, you know, I was eventually proven right, even if I, even if I didn't learn lesson number two uh, perfectly. I still have to learn some of these lessons too. But if you have enough research, if you have a quality product like I do with my trading challenge and my teachings, uh, you know, you're eventually going to be proven right. Just make sure that, you're, that you've done your research. You know, if you have a shitty product and you have haters, well, the haters are probably going to, you know, eventually be right and, and shut you down. Um, you know. As I have more and more millionaire students and, and more students who are making, you know, six figures, uh, it, it's kind of tough and it's kind of laughable that people don't do their research. Um, number three, I'd rather have Ferrari problems. Um, this is a great quote that we just made this video that, that's really uh, hitting home right here. Mike Childs just said that. Uh, quarter of the year. And this was, you know, I was going to film with this Ferrari. Um, <laughs> it was going to be like my, 
uh, kind of hero shot, like, I just got a brand new Ferrari, I'm so pumped up, and wouldn't you know it, the Ferrari literally broke down. Um, it had some battery issues, but that wasn't why we couldn't, you know, restart it. We had a, a jumper cable, we were charging the battery. It was an immobilizer issue where, you know, the, the car, if started improperly, thinks that it's being stolen and it gets, it just goes frozen. And there's a whole passcode and there's a whole procedure to taking it, uh, you know, getting it right again. But I went with it and, you know, I made this video and I was like, you know what? I was so pissed. I was so pissed. It was the first day that I got this Ferrari and all I wanted to do was, you know, take it out for a drive and have, you know, a really positive video. And instead I was like, screw it, we're going to film this video. There's still lessons to be learned from this. And the lesson is I'd rather have Ferrari problems. You know, shit happens to everybody, even rich people, even millionaires. Um, you know, some of the most expensive stuff that I've ever done is, is actually quite shitty. I've had so many Lamborghini problems. Uh, the $12 million yacht that I treated six trading challenge students to, if you've ever seen me on Below Deck, um, you know, which they edited to make us look terrible, me especially, I said some dumb shit, um, but I made $70,000 on the yacht, but the yacht had terrible Wi-Fi, so, you know, I'd rather have terrible Wi-Fi on my yacht, I'd rather have broken Ferraris than the problems that the vast majority of the world has, which is, you know, debt bosses they hate, jobs they hate, lives going nowhere. And you really have to appreciate uh, freedom and, you know, the potential that each and every one of us have, no matter where you are in the world, no matter how much money you're starting with. You know, my best students start with like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars. Uh, a lot of students start with fifty or a hundred thousand dollars and they don't do that well, you know, because they're already rich, their mindset isn't right, they don't work that hard, they're dicks. I don't get along with rich people. You know, poor people are, are my peeps. I'm probably a, I should be a poor person, except I've just worked too hard <laughs> to get where I am. Um, but don't feel bad if you have a small amount of money. Um, it, it's all about your work ethic and your mindset. That's really the most important thing. Um, number four, utilize social media for extra income. It, it's unbelievable to me how much money there is to be made um, you know, oh, this was the yacht, by the way. This was my, my student, Blake, um, who I got to give props to. He was using, um, actually, he was using stocks to trade. Um, and if you want stocks to trade, send an email to admin at timothysykes.com. We can take on a few more beta users where we already have over 100 people beta testing the new software. Um, but back then, this was, I guess, what, like a two years ago, a year and a half ago? Um, Blake, you know, he's one of my trading challenge students who I treated to this yacht trip. And he found EKSO, and EKSO, you know, had the right chart, the right breakout, the right news, and we bought it. Um, I went big, mainly just because we're, we were being filmed for the TV show. Um, and this is how funny, you know, how life works, how karma works, you know. I went big because I thought that they were going to show the trade on the show. They cut the trade entirely and made it look like I, I didn't even make any money on the yacht. And... The cool thing is, you know, the trade worked out. I made $70,000. It was one of my biggest profits last year. Um, and it paid for the entire yacht trip. So even though I look like a jackass, uh, my students and I got a free yacht trip. But this is just an example of preparation. And Blake is, is great at preparation. Um, I'm sorry I have ADD, but there's so much opportunity everywhere. This is Wolf Millionaire. A lot of you guys are asking us questions. Um, you should all be on Instagram. It, it's, it's unbelievable to me that traders, more traders aren't on it. Um, it's not just about sharing food pics or whatever. It's about making money from it. And, and you don't need a product. You can promote other products. I'll give you an example. Here's Jonas. Uh, he's one of my Tim Sykes uh, challenge students. And he's a contractor, day trader, entrepreneur. And, you know, he's done very well. He just had a $3,000 day uh, the other day. He was very proud of. Um, but he has this link right here and he says, join Tim Sykes, my stock teacher here. And he has this link and he gets paid commissions every time, you know, someone signs up for that. So if you're one of my students and this is totally free, you know, you can sign up to Instagram and you can put in whatever link you want. You can put in your own website. You can put in my newsletter. You can put in anything you want. But just so you know, if you go to profitly slash affiliate, You see here, these are my commissions. So we pay out, um, you know, different products have different percentages, but 20, 30, 40% on different products. And these are the, the products that I'm making. You know, I'm, I'm an affiliate too on Profitly, and I want to show you 
you know, how to do this. So just to show you, you know, year to date, I've made um, a few hundred thousand. I think it's over 300,000. I don't know the exact number. Why is my internet slow? Work. Maybe it's trying to calculate everything. <laughs> Um, but you guys all should do this. You know, you go to Profily slash affiliate, sign up. It's totally free. Put in your little affiliate link on your Instagram profile. And, you know, every time you send someone to us, you make money. It's kind of a cool thing when you have a real product and you have real students who get it. Um, oh, I've made $446,000. That's pretty sweet. Uh, or actually, we've had some clawbacks. Clawbacks are, you know, we have... Um, a few people where they make the sale and they're, they don't have enough money with their, their credit card or whatever. Um, it happens quite a bit. You know, a lot of people want to uh, basically buy this stuff, but, you know, a lot of people who can't even afford rent are, are trying to trade penny stocks, and those are not the right people. Um, so their bank actually, you know, stops the they, – they can't afford it. So that's good. Um, but still made over $400,000 this year in affiliate commissions. And obviously that's me. You know, I'm posting – all the time everywhere um, I'm kind of crazy but you can do this and you can make money so I don't know why you wouldn't do it there's absolutely no risk even if you absolutely suck at it you just won't make any money but you won't lose anything and you know as I've been talking about in recent webinars you know we're looking for trades where there's a three four five six seven to one risk reward ratio where you know you can make like a thousand dollars and the risk is you lose 200 so that's five to one uh, the upside with uh, you know social media and, and using profitly links or whatever affiliate programming there's a million affiliate programs let's say you buy a lot of stuff on ebay or amazon they both have affiliate programs they're they only give like five percent commissions but whatever websites you use they most likely have affiliate commissions um, and you can use that so we teach you basically how to make money uh, on instagram using wolfmillionaire.com and, and this is a new product you know, I have a $50 intro guide, there's a $500 uh, advanced guide, and then we have a free 20-page paper, and we're coming out with a free webinar too. But start thinking about extra income. You can make money not just on stocks, but so much more. And a lot of people are like, Tim, shut up, I just want to learn about stocks. How do you ignore opportunity? You know, if you find a $100 bill on the sidewalk, I don't know how you just keep walking and, and you don't take it, or at least look for you know, somebody to find out whose $100 bill it is. Uh, most millionaires have different income sources, multiple income sources. It's not just one or the other. I get a lot of crap for making money as a teacher. I think that's insane. You know, I'm, I'm so proud to teach. I'm so proud to make money. I'm proud to be the largest newsletter and have the most millionaire students. You know, there's a reason why I'm the largest. Um, here's uh, number five. Stick to buying earnings contract winners, ideally on big time breakouts. That was TXMD. Um, that's the single best chart that I see in the entire stock market, and it's performed the best. And it's it's really crazy how simple works. Um, and I actually should include this short sell. Oh wait, I should put it in caps lock. <coughs> Excuse me, short sell pump and dumps. Uh, short selling pump and dumps has really, really, really worked. Um, let me see a few other people. Uh, I had them somewhere. Uh, right here. Uh, stock realist, his name is Ivan. Um, and he actually, he's on, this is on Instagram. And he said his EURI short, uh, Timothy Sykes strategy works. Interested in learning? I recommend starting here. Um, and, you know, this is, this is a fantastic trade. He actually had some nice patience for nearly a month, made 62%. Interactive brokers had shares to short. A lot of people are going around saying there's no shares to short. Sykes takes them all. That's bullshit. There's shares. There's plenty of shares to short. Uh, interactive brokers had tons. I didn't even short EURI, but, you know, shorting pump and dumps works like a charm. Look at this. I mean, this is just beautiful 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 and you even had a nice number six if you watch my penny stocking framework dvd um i could have would have should have shorted here interactive brokers had had shares and you know shorting this pump and dump has worked like a charm for ivan and ivan is on fire um you can see his profit chart in the past two years you know 150,000. again this kind of money is looked down on wall street as as small and pathetic but when you have a profit chart like this, you know, he started with a few thousand dollars. That's fantastic. And I also got to give props to Mark Crook. 
Uh, many of you Trading Challenge students know he's been giving more uh, challenge webinars and now he's doing video lessons and alerts exclusively for challenge students. And we're going to add more features in 2016. So if, if you were thinking about becoming a challenge student, the price goes up in 2016. So I would definitely lock in uh, right now. But um, Mark Crook, you know, this, this is what works. Focus on what works. And it's pretty amazing to, to see, uh, you know, students who are not necessarily yet millionaires, but they're, they're quickly gaining. And that's the right chart pattern to have. Um, number six, this also applies to Mark Crook because we found out that 80% of his profits come from 6% of his trades. Uh, you do not have to trade every day. Brokers and many gurus uh, get compensated by brokers they want you to trade. That won't make you richer, that makes the brokers and gurus richer. Um, and so I quote this, Where Are All the Customers Yachts? This is a famous book and it talks about basically how Wall Street and brokers make millions of dollars basically by being bookies. They don't care if their customers win or lose. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I'm talking too much um, and losing my voice as, as usual. But you don't have to be that person. You know, Be the person who does better than your broker. Um, I'm so sick to death of brokers telling me to trade so much and I'm sick to death of these gurus who are tied to hedge funds and uh, brokers and you know they're just throwing out trading ideas because they want you to trade they're getting money every time that you trade small amounts you know and they're not making that much but the more you trade the better for them and brokers love it because they make commissions that way and fees and you know gurus do it I am not tied to any brokers um, E-Trade and Interactive Brokers are my only two brokers for uh, 2016 and both of them want nothing to do with me because I basically tell people uh, not to trade that much. And, you know, short selling pumps is, is frustrating for a lot of these brokers. They don't make a lot of money on it because it's tough to find shares of short. They actually have to do work. Um, and I'm no friend to the brokers. I'm friends to you guys. And that's my whole business model. You know, where are my customers' yachts? Well, they're getting there. You know, once you start making a few hundred thousand, a few million, you start earning yachts, even though I wouldn't recommend trading from a yacht, as you saw from below death. Um, so think about that every time you make a trade. You know, is it in your interest or is it in your broker's interest or your guru's interest? Um, kind of nasty. And number seven, the, the final lesson for 2015 is just focus on what works. You know, cut through all the BS in this industry with two simple questions. Show me your entire track record and how many millionaire students or customers have you created and show me their results too because I don't believe you otherwise. It's, we're in a bullshit industry. You know, I, a lot of people think that I'm a scam and they think that you know, I'm part of the problem. But the interesting thing is that I show all my trades. I show all my top students trades and now all my top students also give trading challenge webinars, make trading challenge videos. So we're not hiding anything. Um, so if you think that I'm a scam, hey, good luck, you know, go look at all my trades and all my top students trades and all my video lessons. I don't hide anything. The sickening part of this industry is that many people do, uh, you know, brokers, gurus, chat rooms, newsletters, message boards, Twitterers, uh, the whole industry is full of snakes and I'm not necessarily the most popular guy because I'm calling out those snakes and calling out their shit, but go with what works. You know, go with what you can see and what has been proven. Uh, because remember, 90% plus of traders lose. So this whole industry, even though everyone wants you to believe that they're doing so well, unless they prove to you that they are actually profitable. This is why I show my brokerage statements, my audits, my tax records, because it's so important to prove it. You can masquerade and you can say, look, I traded this. Oh, I traded this. Oh, look, look at this. Uh, yeah. After the fact and you don't show your losses. You know, Twitter gets very quiet when you see uh, all these short sellers, you know, hyping up this, or not hyping up, but, you know, talking about their position and saying, look, this is such a great short and the stock keeps going. WTW, KBIO, and they don't cut losses quickly and they're gunslingers and they lose tons and they don't talk about it. And, you know, KBIO, the only reason why a lot of short sellers talked about it is because they lost everything or they blew up. Michael Good and I, my first millionaire student and I, were both short KBIO the day of the big spike. Did we lose everything? Did we lose a big chunk of everything? No, because we cut losses quickly, because the rules that I teach are real. 
This goes to number two. Never be afraid of haters, doubters, critics, traders going against you. You can do whatever you want to the stocks that I trade. If I stick to my rules, and I'm not 100% perfect, you know, sometimes I don't cut losses quickly, sometimes I get stubborn, sometimes I bet too big. Um, I don't want you to think that I follow all of these rules to a T. I should, but I'm not perfect. But most of the time I do. And the reason why I love teaching, the reason why I'm not afraid of any critics is because I know how valuable these rules and these teachings are. You are totally free to ignore every single rule, every single pattern that I teach, and the market will teach you. And what I have found from so many hundreds of students who have ignored me or hated on me, I don't like your attitude, I don't like your cockiness, I don't like your car, whatever. Whatever excuse you wanna have not to like me or not to follow these rules, the market will teach you these rules. And the market is far less forgiving and far more expensive than me. And that is such a great position for me to be in. I don't want any of my students to ever lose money, but if the losses help you have the right mindset, then they're good. Then it's market tuition. You're paying a tuition to have the right mindset. So you can either pay a tuition to me, and my rates are very, very small, or some people you know, ignore it and they lose 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, $100,000. I've had people lose 200 or 300,000 and they come crawling back and they say, I should have listened to you. I shouldn't have bet so big. I shouldn't have you know, just short sold like a gunslinger like some people do. Um, you gotta learn these rules one way or the other. And you can either be part of the 90% or 95%. There's, there's not even detailed statistics. The vast majority of traders lose. So you can either be like them or you can be like, you know, like this, Mark Crook, who's not yet a millionaire, but you can see from his trades, he's on the right track. You know, this one little part where he went sideways, that was when he had his own newsletter. And it's not easy to trade and have a newsletter. You know, I, I should mention that. I'm up nearly 200% this year on my accounts. My E-Trade account alone is up nearly 500%. And I'll do a video lesson on that in a little bit. But it's not easy to trade and teach because you're, you're using different parts of your brain. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to focus on the trade, but then I also have to write commentary and, in the chat room and, and explain why I'm in this trade, and that takes time away from the trade. So for a little while, Mark Crook tried it on his own. He couldn't do it. It's okay. We shut down his newsletter. We folded him into the challenge, which works better, where you know every now and then he does alert a trade real time, and more importantly, he makes video lessons and webinars, which works better for him. And now his profits have resumed and he's happy, just got married, I went to his wedding, beautiful wedding, beautiful wife, beautiful family. And that is, there's so much lessons to be learned with everything, you know? But this kind of profit chart, this is what you should be going for. And if you don't have this profit chart year in, year out, you're probably following the wrong strategy, you're probably following the wrong guru, you're probably following the wrong rules. And I know the vast majority of you watching this do not have this kind of a chart. You don't. And it's okay, but the good news is that life is long. And the younger you are, whenever you wanna start getting on the right mindset, whenever you wanna start investing in your education, that is when your chart and your profits and your future can really you know, just look amazing. And that's what I want for all of you. Even my haters, even my biggest doubters, even my biggest critics, I don't want anybody losing money. You know, if we could all make money in the stock market and all be happy and all dance together, and drink wine and party it up in Greece, that would be fantastic. Um, this is a game where, you know, the vast majority of people are going to lose. And I don't want you to be that person. And so I'm constantly, constantly trying to get you focused on the right mindset. Um, and sadly, I know many of you guys aren't going to pay attention. You're going to rationalize. You're going to be lazy. But if you come prepared every single day to the stock market and you learn these patterns and you take advantage of these sales and you learn from actual millionaire students and you watch these DVDs, Tim Gratani has nearly four dozen live trades. You know, learn from what works, mimic it, repeat it over and over again because the stock market doesn't change. Year in, year out, the patterns are the same. Shorting pump and dumps, buying earnings winners and contract winners, it's the same. It's just a question of whether you realize it or not. And obviously it's not exactly the same. You know, there are some mutations and variations, but the vast majority of you aren't even on the right path because you haven't put in the time and effort to study or prepare. So 
hopefully I can show you that. I mean, I showed one, one chart, or actually two charts. Shorting the pump and dump EURI, you can see here, you had some nice red days and follow-up red days versus TXMD with its multi-year breakout. Those are two simple, simple charts. And I know a lot of you want to trade choppy charts and you want to trade all these biotechs, but this stock has a good story. I don't care. The simpler you keep it, buying multi-year breakouts, shorting pump and dumps, the more success you'll have. And there might not be a trade every single day because what I teach, you know, it, it's not scalping, it's not trading, you know, VRX and buying 100 shares in 97 and selling 100 shares in 99. Um, you know, I mess up a lot on trades. Uh, you know, TXMD is, is an example. But when you're on the right track and you have the right mindset and you have the right preparation, it's very tough to lose money. TXMD, I think I made money on, on most of my trades, if not all of them. And I totally underestimated it, but I was on the right mindset and the right track. And that's what I want to get you guys on. I'll send a watch those later tonight, but this has been Tim Sykes with another 7 Lesson Sunday. Again, I hope you have a great holidays with you and your family. And hopefully I can, you know, de-brainwash you a little bit and get you thinking like, you know, how actual successful traders think. Thanks.